Okay, so there is a new AI business inside hustle that's been quietly earning people over $11,000 per month. And genuinely, I am surprised because from what I can see, besides me, no one is talking about it. And I find it kind of crazy because I honestly believe, as I will show you, that I think there are tons of untapped opportunities to make money doing this. Yep, basically over the past few months, more and more faceless YouTube channels have been going viral, gaining millions of views and earning tens of thousands of dollars posting AI podcast videos like these. What they do is simple. They use free AI tools and design apps like Leonardo and Canva to generate podcast hosts. And then they use AI tools like Wondercraft to generate a chatty script, which mimics a real podcast with different hosts chat about topics and interrupt each other and respond to each other's thoughts and then after that they use AI to generate the voices for the host and this is where it's getting quite interesting because you see a very powerful new AI tool called Convo Mode launched last week and it's made these podcasts sound way more realistic than before so for example here is a podcast that I quickly generated so we'll give this a quick listen and I think you'll see what I mean. Welcome back to AI Hub, everyone. I'm Ash. And I'm Jordan. Today, we're diving deep into the whirlwind of announcements from Google I.O., specifically focusing on the latest and greatest with Gemini. Yeah, Google's been busy, to say the least. There's a lot to unpack, especially with Gemini getting all these new features. Where do you want to start, Jordan? I think we should kick things off with Gemini Live. I mean, the camera and screen sharing capabilities? Game changer. Absolutely. The fact that it's free now on Android and iOS, I mean, anyone can use it. Imagine, like, real-time help with fixing your washing machine or uh, deciding if you should buy those shoes you saw online. Exactly. And apparently conversations are five times longer than just texting. Plus, the integration with Google services like Calendar, Maps, Tasks, and even Keep, it's all just... Uh, so seamless. See, it's pretty crazy, right? This isn't just AI stitching two voices together. It is generating an actual proper human conversation with people responding to each other with emotion. You can hear the host breathing and you can hear them thinking aloud, just like a real person does. And I'll tell you what, I genuinely think that this new technology has a lot of potential to make a lot of money because the thing is, is that AI podcasts, they are a very new type of video. Most of these tools are less than a year old, and so very few people know how to actually make these. But I've been following them for a while now, and I've noticed that AI podcasts made with old, first-generation versions of these apps have still been going super popular, and they've been going viral, and they've been getting millions of views. So, for example, this podcast here was made with outdated tools just seven months ago, and it still had over seven million views. And so we'll just give it a quick watch. And again, I think you'll see what I mean. Hello, English learners, and welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. How are you, Erica? Marco, I'm doing really well today. You excited? Uh-huh. We've got a great lesson for everyone. Yes, we have a really common situation where we're going to use real English, right? Yep. Everyday English. English that people really use. And that's what we want you to learn. What are we talking about today specifically? Today, we have a really common situation that is a little bit embarrassing. So, you see what I mean, right? It's pretty good, don't get me wrong, but because it was made with old outdated tools, the hosts sound a lot less real and they have a lot less emotion than the podcast that I generated today. And yet, despite that, that video still went viral and was super popular, and that's because some viewers just prefer listening to chatty conversations on topics instead of perfectly scripted videos. And so viewers have watched these regardless. Like you take that channel, for example, they've had many of their podcast episodes go viral, not just that one, gaining hundreds of thousands to millions of views, which is quite remarkable because it's a very new YouTube channel. It started posting videos just seven months ago, and yet in that time, they've managed to gain over 450,000 subscribers and gain over 10.9 million views, which is pretty amazing. And so View Stats estimates then the past 28 days, this channel has made anywhere from $4,000 to over $11,000 from YouTube's monetization program. <laughs> wow. And that's just one AI podcast channel. In this single niche alone, lots of other successful AI podcast channels less than a year old, some less than two months old even, are getting hundreds of thousands to over a million views each month. 
So yes, you can call me naive or overly optimistic, whatever, I don't mind. I just genuinely think that there is huge potential here for people to make money using these new tools to reach untapped YouTube niches. And so if you're interested in trying this for yourself, we'll get started with step one of my tutorial, generate a chatty podcast script. Yes, so to get started with this, come on over to Wondercraft AI. And as I said, I've been following the AI podcasting tool scene for a while now. And by far, Wondercraft has been my favorite tool to create these. I'm actually quite sad to say this, but the other tools have just kind of disappointed me so far. However, do keep in mind though that you will need a creator account to actually use Wondercraft to make YouTube podcast clips. But before you go get a creator account, I recommend giving the tool a go for free first to see if it's actually right for you. Wondercraft has a really cool feature where they let you generate a mini AI podcast for free and they even let you download it. I actually think that this tool is a lot of fun to play around with. But yes, if you like it and you get a creator account, just log in and click to create a new audio and select to start from blank. Then you'll be taken to the audio studio. And in here, just come and turn on the new combo mode. This is that new tool that got released, which inspired me to make this video because now instead of just posting one AI voice after the other, they now layer them together in a way that is natural. And that's why you now see hosts actually interacting with each other, mimicking a real conversation, even laughing when someone says something that the other host finds funny. <laughs> Then next, click on prompts. Here you can select from a range of different scripting prompts. For us, of course, though, we want the podcast prompt. And again, you'll see a bunch of different podcast prompts that you can use. But for us, we want to use the convo mode as our prompt, so choose that. Then next, just go through and fill in the blanks that are highlighted. You add in your niche, roughly how long you want your video to be, the name of your podcast, the name of the host, and you can note if the host can interrupt each other or not. It's of course up to you, but I personally think that it makes it a lot more natural if they can interrupt each other. Prior to this combo mode edition in Wondercraft, the AI hosts never interrupted each other, but now they can, which definitely adds to the realism. You can also add sources to it, just like you can with Google's popular Notebook LM podcast tool, which it will use to generate the podcast with. So to create these, I like to use ChatGPT. What I do is I like to link to a post or an article or website that I want to use as a source, and I paste it into ChatGPT, and I ask it to summarize it, and then I ask it to turn the summary into a PDF that I can download. And so now I have created a document which I can use as a source for my podcast. So yes, once you've gone ahead and uploaded any source documents, you can then submit your prompt and Wondercraft will now turn it into a full podcast script for you featuring two different hosts. And this was just an example for this video. So I generated a short podcast and it took less than a minute to generate. Then you can go in and edit the script. It's split into each host text portion, so you can just through and make any changes that you like, which is one of the reasons this is so much better than Google's Notebook LM as a professional AI podcast tool, as unlike with that one, with this one you can make any changes to the script that you like. But yes, once you've got your script finished, we can now move on to the next step, which is choosing our podcast host. Yes, so this is something else that Google's podcast tool, Notebook LM, can't do. With that one, they will just give you two podcast hosts and that's who you have. But with this, you get to choose who your hosts are gonna be and how they're gonna sound, which is of course very important if you want people to actually think your podcast is real, you know? Yes, so next up, come to the first speaker and click on them. Now you'll be able to choose what voice you'd like to use for that speaker. And as you can see, there are a lot to choose from. So what I like to do is I like to come to filters and go through and select the different criteria that I want my voice to have, which saves a lot of time. And you can click on each host and listen to a preview of their voice. And then once you've chosen each of your hosts, click to generate. It's free right now to generate a script, but if you want to actually generate your podcast audio, it will cost credits. However, once you've finished generating the podcast, if you want, you can generate it two additional times for free without spending any new credits. And each time the AI voices will slightly change. So you can make three versions and pick your favorite or even combine them together. But yes, either way, once you have a version that you like, just click export and then click to download it. And that's it. It's pretty simple. But as I said, to generate podcasts, you will need a creator account because this is what's gonna get you access to credits. And as you can see, Wondercraft has different types of accounts. For most people, the cheapest one will be absolutely perfect. For just one podcast, most people will not need more than 100 credits. However, as you can also see, sadly, this is not free. 
Nope. So I decided to be a bit cheeky and I emailed Wondercraft and I asked them if they would at least give my viewers a discount on a subscription. And to my surprise, they actually said yes. So if you want to get a discount on it, you can use the coupon code WHOLESALED1050 at checkout to get 50% off your subscription for the first three months. It's for a limited amount of time. And so if you can use that coupon code and get a discount, I highly recommend that you do that rather than paying full price. But yes, either way, after this, we can then move on to the next step, which is to use Canva and AI image generators to create a host photo screen. Okay, so next up, we're gonna create a video so that it can be uploaded to YouTube and if you take a look at other successful AI podcasts out there, you'll see that for visuals, they often keep it pretty simple. This one here, for example, it's a pretty common type of visual that I've seen. They will create a screen that features photos of their AI hosts and their podcast show name. And that's it. And making a screen like this for free is actually quite easy. Yep, so first up, to make this, we will of course be using the free graphic design app Canva. And if you don't have an account for it, I will include my affiliate link to it in the description below. Keep in mind though that for what we're making here, you can use either the free or pro version of Canva. It doesn't matter, both work fine. Either way, create a new custom sized project that is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Then click on the background color picker and scroll down and choose a gradient color option. Now you can come in and modify the angle of the gradient and also the colors in it too. And you can pick the colors that match with your niche. Then after that, come to the elements tab and open up the shapes and choose a rounded rectangle that we'll use for our title text. Then change the color of the rectangle to whatever color you want and select to add a thin border to it and change that border color too and place it where you want it to be. Then next, come to the text tab and add in a text box with your podcast name in it. And an easy idea is to do what I did here and scroll through the built-in text templates that Canva has created and choose one that matches with your niche and aesthetic that you're going for with your podcast. Then you can pick one of these and add it into your rectangle, changing it to be the name of your podcast. Then come back to elements, but this time do a search for a subscribe button graphic and add the graphic in below the name of your podcast. Then back in elements, come and do a search for frames and inside of canvas frames, choose another rounded rectangle and add it into your design. This is gonna be where we'll put the photo for one of our podcast hosts. Then duplicate it and place the duplicated rectangle frame on the opposite side to mirror it. Then after that, we're gonna generate the photos of our hosts. And an easy way to do this is by using the free AI image generator, Leonardo. Now, obviously you don't need to use Leonardo here. Pretty much any AI image generator will be able to easily create a great photo of an AI podcast host. So if you prefer to use a paid one that you already have access to, like ChatGPT's Dali or Midjourney, that is absolutely fine. But if you want a free image generator, I think that Leonardo with their free Flux Dev model for photos is pretty good. Either way, once you've generated a photo you like, go ahead and download it. And then come back to Canva and upload your photo and drag and drop it into your Canva frame. And then that's it. Repeat the process for your next host. And here's a quick design tip. For this photo, I realized that there was too much empty space at the top where Canva inserted it into the frame. So what I did was I cropped off a bit of the top of the photo to remove it. So now this time when I added it in, it was pretty much exactly as I wanted it. And then after that, I went in, made some tweaks. I added in borders for each of my host photos and I played around a bit with spacing. But yes, once you've got your host screen looking the way you want, you can just click share, download, set the image file type to PNG and then click download. And then you can move on to the next step. But first, creating this tutorial with Canva reminded me of today's video sponsor, me. Yes, as my longtime subscribers know, due to the fact that there have been lots of shady YouTube sponsors out there, I've been choosing to sponsor my own videos recently. And I'm sponsoring this video today to let you know that if you've seen the videos on this channel, where I show how I have a side hustle, where I earn passive income by creating designs, both with Canva and with AI art, and then I sell them onto print on demand products like clothing, which I then sell for a profit, then don't forget, I have a free ebook you can download. Yes, it's called the six steps that six figure online stores follow to make over $10,000 a month with print on demand. You can find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video. And it's on to the next step, which is to actually create our podcast videos so that we can upload it to YouTube. 
Yes, so to do that, you can use any video editor that you like, but for me, I'm going to use Clipchamp since this is currently my favorite free video editing tool right now. So to get started, just come in and create a new video project and then add in your AI podcast that you generated with Wondercraft and your host image screen that you made with Canva. Then add in your podcast clip to your video timeline and then add in your host image screen and then zoom in and click the side of it and drag it to fill the entire length of your podcast clip. And then after that, click the content library button and under the visuals tab, select the overlay button and then click to add in the audio visualizer overlay. And then again, zoom in, click the side of it and drag it to fill the entire length of your podcast clip. Now we have a cool waveform overlay, which matches with what our podcasts are saying. However, there is just one problem. It is sitting visually on top of our host photos, which is what we do not want. So click it and in the effects menu, click transform and select the bottom middle position. Now you can make it as big or small as you like. And you can also click the colors tab and then click the colors and then change each color to match your chosen aesthetic and niche. So don't worry, you don't have to keep it pink if you don't want to. And then you can just come and give your podcast episode a name and then click export and save it in high definition in 1080p. And that's it. So now we have a video which is ready to be uploaded to YouTube, yay! So here is another clip from our completed podcast video, this time talking about the new Google VO3. And as you can see listening to it, you'll be able to hear how realistic it sounds. You can hear the podcast host breathing, thinking, even laughing with each other. It's quite astonishing. So let's just give it a quick watch and I think that you will see what I mean. Okay, so next up, Image 4 and VO3. What's the deal there? Oh man, the visual and video generation stuff is just wild. Image 4, with its high quality, realistic images and better text rendering, is available to everyone on Gemini now. Right, right. And VO3? VO3 is like a state-of-the-art video generator. It includes native support for sound effects, background noise, dialogue, like, imagine the immersive video content you can create from just text prompts. But yeah, it's only available to Google AI Ultra users in the US for now. Uh, typical. Always gotta gatekeep the cool stuff a little bit, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but hey, it'll trickle down eventually. Pretty cool, right? And so if you want to learn about other ways that people are making money online, be sure to watch my next video here on screen. And I will see you in the next video.